Because the power sector uses so much water, when we're plugging in an electrical device, we're actually consuming water whether we know it or not. That water is being used out of sight, out of mind, maybe at a power plant hundreds of miles away, but we're plugging into water. We think we're plugging into electricity, we are, but we're plugging into water too. It turns out that a typical American uses something like 150 gallons of water per person per day in their home for watering the lawn, showering, cooking, the tap, the shower head, that kind of thing. But we're using hundreds of gallons of water per person per day to cool the power plants to make the electricity for that same home. We're using more water through our electrical outlets and our lights than we are through our water system, whether we realize it or not. We use a tremendous amount of energy to clean, treat, deliver the water that we need. But it turns out that we also use a tremendous amount of water just to cool the major thermoelectric power plants of America, the nuclear plants, the coal, oil, and natural gas plants. And so those connections between water and energy are what we talk about when we talk about the water energy nexus. So we use water to get the energy resource out of the ground. Think of oil, there are techniques like water flooding, where you inject water into the oil well to flush the oil out. There are techniques like hydraulic fracturing, or use water to fracture the shale to get oil and gas out of the ground. You use water at coal mines to rinse the coal and to do dust control. Water is used at uranium mines to mine the uranium. You'll use water to leach out the different minerals and materials. And then water is sometimes used in industrial processes to say enrich or upgrade the uranium or the coal or to treat the natural gas. So water is also used to make the fuels at the power plant. Then it's used to make the steam at the power plant. Then water is used to cool the power plant. Sometimes water is used to move the natural gas or coal or uranium by barges or ships. So water is used all up and down the supply chain of the power sector. In fact, the power sector uses more water for cooling than the agricultural sector uses for growing food, for example. So it's a big number. We are at one of our power plants. In many power plants, they use water and they heat it to turn to steam, and the steam pressure turns a turbine that turns the generator, and that generates electricity. So that's how we get most of the energy. Cooling the, the generators requires a lot of water. Hence, we have this cooling tower here that uses the water to make the power plant work more efficiently. We are doing our part here by supplying our highly treated wastewater, what we call reclaim water, and this particular plant uses about 50 million gallons of reclaimed water per month. By switching to reclaimed water, we save the drinking water for drinking purposes, and then we use the reclaimed water for the cooling. The flow right now is about 2,200 gallons a minute. Because of the summer demand, it is very hot. It's, it's over 100 degrees. 